Hey everyone and welcome to another project. Today we are going to build this awesome POV LED. Now I got the idea from a project that Greg Scott did in 2016 and I was like, should I make it? Then there is this time then I went to a festival where they had a big POV LED that displayed 3D images. I said to myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna build this shit. Now my POV LED only contains 8 LEDs so I can try 3D stuff on it but it is definitely possible. You can check the link in the description, someone actually made it. It's totally dope. Now I will be explaining how to build this. You can always check the link in the description. I will leave the code, the schematics and why and how I did stuff in this project that I will not mention in this video. Now feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My goal is 1k subs, only 1k subs, that, that's all I'm asking for, okay? And ring that bell because if you don't ring it, when I upload a video, you'll not get notified on it and I will only get like 8 views from my family, uh, which is very sad. So if you have any recommendation or you don't understand something, you can write a comment or you can send me a direct message to my uh, Facebook page. Let's start with the build. I found an old fan that I took apart, some parts can be used for other projects and I like the fact that it have a metallic cage, that way it will be safer to put next to kids and I don't need to worry about the system flying into someone's head. I used screws and hot glue to fix it in place, I did not think it will hold but it did just fine. I used this small motor and fit it into the hole, I had to make it bigger though. I first used a 5mm MDF wood, it was a mistake, the motor is so small so it got so hot during the testing, so a better alternative is to use a PCB boards. When making holes, make sure they are closed or you will not be able to see the letters. First I use these LEDs, then I throw them away, they are just so weak and you can't see anything at daytime. Quick advice, use the brightest LED you can find. The first test was a disaster, I told you the MDF was so heavy and I messed up the balance, so I end up with a helicopter instead of PUP. I fixed the balance somehow, but the LED was so spaced up that you can't see the letters, damn it. The only thing I can display are triangles, but they look funny since they move left and right since the frequency of the motor and the LEDs are not the same, so I had to rebuild the whole thing again. This time I used PCB boards for the frame, I glued two of them on top of each other to make it longer, then I used white LEDs with added transistors to make the LED as bright as, as possible, which turned very well. I use a Hull effect sensor that reacts to magnets to stop the letters from moving left and right. The magnet will be our starting point. The first test was great, so I kept testing with different characters and it worked like a charm. Then I put it everything in place and it was ready for a final run. Okay, let's learn how POV works. First of all, you need to know to write anything in the alphabet, you need a matrix that is 5 by 5, which means that we need 5 by 5 We need something like this, 5 LEDs by 5 LEDs. Which is, which is exactly like this, something like this. Okay, we have more than five, but we need five LEDs to be able to write anything in, the, in here. So what we are going to do is we are going to imitate this in our PUV system. Now, we already have eight LEDs here. So now we need to find a way to how to emit the four missing LEDs, which is 
easy the motor will do it for you you see when you have your LEDs like this when they rotate you see if this is the LED it's going to change it's going to change its position and with that change we can actually cover the missing LEDs when the motor rotate the only 8 LEDs we have now this is how we can cover the space 5x5 five five, uh, of the missing LEDs now how to write letters well this is actually quite easy you see we have 5x5 five five. let's say I wanna write H which is oh, this does not work so This is H. Now we we need to do, to make a matrix where we are going to store our data. So let's say it, let's name it H, and this matrix is going to hold the data. The data of what? Of the LEDs that are lit and not lit. If it's lit, we will we will um, put one, and if it's not, we're going to put zero. And you can either work on rows or uh, columns I'm going to work with rows uh, for example here we have this one uh, it does light up these three not and the last one does light up so I'm going to write one zero 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 one now for the next row I'm going to do the same thing because it's basically the same thing now for the third row we all have LEDs lit up so I'm going to write one 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 this is five ones, then again one three zeros, one three zeros, and one. And this is uh, the data that we are going to define in our Arduino codes. So we can uh, like run through each uh, data and we can light or not light the LEDs and with that we can have our letters. Now if you are going to write words, you will need a space between them. For that all you have to do is define a space matrix that is covered in zeros and that way you can write whatever you want. So if you like this video please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and ring that bell uh, so you get notified when I upload a video and I don't have to go through all the hassles to like spamming my videos on every website I can find. Yeah, it's hard you know to get 1k subs you know. So yeah, if you have any question leave them in the comment and yeah i will see you in the next video peace on you on me too